Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install shaders and graphics mods. So, to put it simply, uh, this is going to be the beginner version because there's an advanced version that there's another way that we're, that's a little bit more time consuming, um, depending on how experienced you are. So, that's going to come in another video at another time. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, going to be using our good old browser here. Not good old browser. Good old website here. Nexus Mods. So, this is the one we're going to be using. Edge LUT. Reshade. It's going to be pretty much just reshade. So, this is what it looks like in, and I have to admit it's pretty decent although I do see a lot more blue but less of the less of the yellow filter however there are some more so this is what I mean by the complex version so there's stuff like this however um, the file I know about the file is different so I don't know how to install INI files or how to make that work within cyberpunk so that's why that video is coming for another day but hey, this actually looks a bit better. I kind of like more of the blue. It looks more like real life instead of more of that yellowishy color. I do like this a lot more. So stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to install this one. But for now, we're going to be using this one because it is an archive file. So you can download it either through Vortex or My Manager. If you guys don't know how to download it uh, manually, you need to go to your mod folder in the cyberpunk 2077 folder now if you have now for me it's steam there's all there are steam apps in common for epic games it's likely going to be different or glg wherever you get it from but you're always going to have a cyberpunk 2077 folder then you go to archive pc and mod and then you pretty much copy your file or inject it into here so that's it on that note look just like vortex do all the work now I already have this mod installed I just have it disabled we're gonna enable it and in case you guys don't know if you download anything from vortex it'll pop up here first and then it's gonna pop up here so once you have your mod uh, installed at least the archive file in the right folder next thing you need to do is launch your game so Alrighty guys, so we are in the Cyberpunk now. And it has less of the uh the yellow filter, so it'll it looks very yellow. If you look at the beginning of the video and the end of it, you can compare. But um yeah, it looks quite a bit better than it looks a little bit better. But it does in my eyes it looks quite a bit better because I'm not a fan of that huge yellow filter. I like it being more realistic, so I'm gonna install that other mod. Uh, see what that looks like. But this is the this is how it should look. It should look somewhat different unless you install like some kind of weird shader pack, a weird shader. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.